I was beginning to wonder if you'd ever show up. My lord seems to derive amusement from my annoyance. You are here to retrieve a tome for that... Shalidor person, correct? Just a moment, mortal. Lord Sheogorath asks that you perform a task first, to prove your competence. He claims to have misplaced a pair of items, items you must recover. A fork and a staff. Please do try to be quick. My lord enjoys making me wait, but he's not very patient himself. I've opened a portal for your convenience. It should lead you directly to the fork. I'd say, at your leisure, mortal. But I expect I have more time ahead of me than you do. It's an heirloom. My lord is quite fond of it. Has a bit of magic around it, too, I think. I don't know. I don't question Lord Sheogorath. The fork excites and synergizes magicka around it. When held in the hand of someone more notable than yourself, it can produce dramatic results. In your hand, it might be suitable for conveying roast beef to your mouth. My lord is certain he lost his utensil somewhere in Skyrim. It was during a visit to his friend Corthor in Vuldengrav. That was during the Marithic era, I believe. <clears throat> My lord visited with Corthor a very, very, very long time ago. Really, what do they teach mortals these days? Never forget that smell. A dragon priest's tune. Look at the treasures he's collected. Perhaps the fork is here as well. Old Corthor's set up an ice barrier. Hmm. Perhaps the fork is in there. Shadows move, Adept. Watch yourself! Eyes to the sky! Another group! No matter. Come, face me yourselves. There. 
The ice barrier is down. We can get through. I see you have the fork. Competently done. Impressive, even. Now, for the staff. When last we spoke, my lord recalled the discomfort of Desert Sand. I believe it lies somewhere within Hammerfell, in the dry and decayed hands of Prince Malil. Prince Malil Alakir, the Sith of Yokuda, a formidable warrior in his day. That was over a thousand years ago, but still. As I expected. Another resting place for the dead. Sheagorath has a sick sense of humor. This is the necropolis, Asakala. The resting place of Prince Malil, also known as the Scythe of Yakuda. The prince's underlings were clever. They crafted magical seals to guard his resting place. Observe the Yakudan statues. Each bears a crystal in the helm and a seal at the base. The essences you see swirling around in the air here? Their energy can be used to unlock those keystones. Here, I can grant an aura that will allow you to capture the essences as they pass through you. Collect as many of the small ones as you can. 
They should unlock these scarab seals on the statues nearby. I'll need to consider the other two. This place is incredible. The ancient Red Guards were a noble and accomplished people. What can I tell you, Adept? What sort of archmage would I be if I didn't? I spent my mortal life seeking knowledge of all things, not just magic. Yokudan, or as you know them, Red Guard, culture is no exception. If the Lost was here, I'm sure she could tell you the same. them into one of the scarab seals. Imbue them into the other seal. such a superstitious, mage-hating people. This place is a work of art. Have you observed the sand barriers on those passages in the canyon walls? I suspect the Prince's generals may be waiting within. Their essences would no doubt be more than enough to activate the other two statues. Very simple, Adept. The seals at the basis of those statues show a scorpion and a spider. Those were the spirit totems claimed by Malil's chief generals, Sadina and Rashomta. You should have the scorpion seal at its base. Keep it, mortal. 
My life for my real. Ah! Rashomta's statue will be marked with the spider seal. Center. You should find the key to Prince Malil's tomb there. Another successful retrieval, I see. Very well, then. I have instructions to have you return to the Isles. My lord would have a word with you. Oh, 
Uh, good to see you too, mortal, I guess. Wonderful! I'll just take... <gasps> Forky. Oh, I miss you so much, Forky. Let's never, never be partied again. Oh, gives me goosebumps just to hold him in my hand again. <laughs> ah, the Wabajack. Melil held it down in that dusty tomb for so long. Say, why don't you clear its throat? Take it in hand and use it on some of these holier-than-thou temper types. Ah, no need to worry, you pretty mortal head. The Wabajack, it unleashes the potential in everyone. The unrecognized essence of artistic beauty that swells and beats within the... No. This is so exciting! <laughs> Are you crazy? I just gave it to you, didn't I? No, oh, wait, here it is. <laughs> My mistake. Here you go.
I'm rather busy right now. See, but not bad. So funny watching you mortals muck around with things you can't possibly understand. <laughs> I'll be needing that back now. And as promised, Debok. But go ahead. Take it. Once it's yours, it'll send you straight back to Tamriel. Funny how books have a way of transporting you. <laughs> uh, no. Simply hold your breath, close your eyes, and count to, uh, let's say, a million. Master Samkri always talks about walking the narrow path, but I just want to learn how to cast spells and such. Ah, you've returned. Do you have the second book? Excellent. The Circus of Cheerful Slaughter? That's quite a title. I'll begin my research immediately. Can't wait to get to it. Excellent. 